everybody, Leone Productions here, and I am here again with you today for another tier list. Um, I want to get through all of the stores, do all of them, and just give my personal opinions on all of these animatronics. Like last video, if you have not seen it, I did Spirit Halloween. This one is Home Depot. The next little episode is going to be Lowe's, and then Party City. Um, and then I whatever whatever I could try to find um, I'm gonna try to do like tier lists just giving off my final opinions to you guys because I never made videos fully on any of these I, I was just in flagship prep so I never really made a full Home Depot video or a whole full Lowe's video um, or full spirit video actually which I don't know why I didn't do that but this is my makeup for those videos that I haven't done before. So if you haven't seen the last video, go check that one out first and then come back here. I, I would like to just go through all the different companies, different um, stuff like that. Just show off my opinions on all of these animatronics. I've seen a lot of these. I've seen a lot of them in action. So I really want to fully, fully share my full opinions with them on you guys. Um, so join me on this ride and... Uh, Let's just go. Let's just dive into it. All right. So we see here the Home Depot 2023 tier list maker. Um, what is that? Oh, that's Boogeyman. Okay. I couldn't even see because it's so small on my screen here. And I got OBS up on my other side. Um, so that's the Boogeyman. He is awesome. I love him. Uh, he's definitely S tier. Uh, he's massive. He's huge. I love his voice lines. One of the best voice lines I've heard um, in like recent recent props. So he's really, really cool. I love him to pieces. Um, yeah, so he's S tier for me. Uh, Grave Digger. Um, he's cool. I do like him. He's not my favorite, but he's like an A, B range for me. Um... I don't necessarily hate him. I don't necessarily love him, but like he's really cool. I love his. It's the first grave digger we've ever gotten that's actually digging a grave, so it it definitely deserves props for that. So I'm gonna put him in. I'm gonna put him in B tier for now. If I want to change my opinion, I'm gonna do it towards the end of the video. Uh, 13 foot Jack is an S tier, 100%. I am not backing down from that one. Obviously, as you see behind me, Jack Skellington is my whole life. Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite movie of all time. I will live that down. For the, I will never live that down. Nightmare Before Christmas is my favorite movie. Jack Skellington is my favorite Halloween and Christmas character. So, he's up on top of Kurt, of course. Because I love his servo movement. I love his face. I love his mouth. And I love his interchangeable eyes. Um, just incredible. Incredible. I wish I had him. I wish I could get him. But I have no room for him. And I have no storage for him. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to miss out this year, but I love Jack with a burning passion. And, uh, hopefully when I get a house, maybe I can find him again in the future somewhere. A Lethal Lily. Oh, she is incredible. Lethal Lily is one of the best animatronics. Uh, she's straight up a Disney animatronic. And, like, uh, Yoda's not on here, but Yoda would be S tier as well. These servo animatronics are in incredible her her movement her eyes looking around all over the place her blinks she's one of the best witch props in recent times and i freaking hate witch props so me saying this means something because this is the best witch prop i would actually pick her up if i didn't have a disdain towards witches so but she is definitely the best witch prop i've seen in a long time and she deserves to be in the s tier Marie, uh, she's a C. I just don't care about her. She's not that great. I, She's cool to go with Dean, but other than that, she's nothing to write home about. Uh, the Marsh Monster, whatever his name is, the Swamp Monster, Marsh Monster. Uh, uh, I never cared about him in the beginning. I, never, I don't care about him now. He talks, which even sucks more. If he made, like, growls and random, like, noises like that, he would be better. But he's just... It's just weird. Um, what is this? Is this? Oh, that's Possessed Penny. Um, she's really cool in person. A lot better than I personally thought. Uh, I'm not a doll guy. I'm not really into dolls. They kind of scare me. Um, just from recent, ex like past experiences, I'm not. I'm not a doll guy. Uh, unless they're intentionally scary. Like 
it's kind of weird like the regular porcelain dolls i i just don't care about like like the regular porcelain dolls i'm terrified of but like dolls that are intended to be scary like like the hugs doll and the uncle charlie doll stuff like that i just don't like i'm fine with them like i'm fine with those like i'm i just don't like like those like precious moments dolls and crap like that they're just very eerie in my opinion i just i'm not a doll guy but she is really cool i love her eye like i thought her eye thing was going to be kind of weird but in person that's a lot cooler looking so if you do see her at home depot pay attention to them eyes because it's really really cool and she's definitely one of the, just for her price alone she's definitely worth it honestly i saw a couple at my home depot i really wanted to pick her up but again i'm not a doll guy so i really wouldn't want a doll like that in my room and uh i'm just not like i'm more into the harvest setting just clowns i like stuff like that so i don't know but she is really good for what she is predator of the night man one of the coolest bigger props we have uh, i love him the pieces the servo movement this like this bat demon he's just incredible absolutely incredible i have nothing bad to say about him he's just awesome uh sitter of souls i really do not care about she's a c she's like like with home depot for me it's weird because the props this year are the highest of highs or the lowest of lows like they just they're dumb and i don't really care about them or they're like the best props i've ever seen so <laughs> home depot is really just like here and here it's so weird you know uh, like j okay getting on that level sinister steve absolutely awful uh, i know the clown people are gonna friggin hate me dear god i hate him i hate him with a burning passion i just want to punt him across the room <laughs> i just want to take my foot and punt his head as far away from the home depot as possible i just do not like him he annoys me dear god get him away from me i <laughs> i that's all i gotta say 12 foot skelly always classic best always the classic you cannot go wrong the skeleton stack absolutely incredible i saw them in person they look great uh i have the pumpkin stack so these guys are gonna go great with my pumpkins if i end up getting them i would like to try to get them at the end of the season but if i gotta pay the 200 dollars, i gotta pay the 200 dollars. but they're really really solid for what they are spellcasting witch i don't care about her she's a cool witch cool to have for like a starter prop or whatnot but i, I don't i don't do witches i don't care uh, like the lethal lily is like the only I mean, lethal lily uh stolen souls witch um uh the, the macabre witch and I, I think i said lethal lily already but like they're they're like the best witches i've seen so um just spell casting i don't, I don't really care this uh this fisherman guy i could care less i really really could care less i i never cared about props like that in the beginning he's just really he's dumb he's cool if you like if you have a dock in your yard um and you have like a pond behind your dock so that would be cool to have there or if you're doing like a like a a fish haunt or like a like a dockside haunt or something like that kind of like mac uh haunt former is doing like port chum for his uh for his haunt so that'll be real that's cool for his haunt but like if you're not using the fisherman for anything like it's kind of a dumb prop or if you just have like a fishing room or if you really like fishing th that's that's a cool prop for you but for me i really do not care i just do not care about him at all oh this is the scarecrow um i really like him i like his voice um he's just really really cool in my opinion and he's got like the fast like there's been scarecrows like this before but i like his green lighting i like his his voice his voice is really cool for a scarecrow like i like giving scarecrows like these like west not like western but like these these accented uh like yeah you know come here type thing like like i i, I like those kinds of scarecrow voices so him having that kind of voice is really really cool so i like him i like his green lighting i'm probably gonna get slapped on for that one but i i don't care i do like him a lot uh thd dear god one of the best 
love him. I love the Terminator. I love stuff like that. I love cyborg, sci-fi type stuff like that. Incredible. Uh, just his blinking, his his voice dialogue, just all around one of the coolest props I've ever seen. We need more crap like that. Like that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen for sure. Uh, if you guys do not know THD, I don't know how you don't because he's one of the coolest props I've ever seen. And if I ever see him at a Home Depot, which he's probably not going to be, I will grab him immediately. I know he's online right now, but like I'm trying to save up money for Christmas stuff right now. I know that's bad to say, but I really want Home Depot's Santa Mickey and the Jack Frost. So I'm trying to save up for those guys because I do like Christmas as much as I like Halloween. But I'm really, really looking forward to getting those two whenever the hell they restock. But Home Deep, the Home Depot 3000, THD 3000 is incredible. Dean was one of my favorites from last year, so I'm going to put him in A. He's not the best best, but he's really cool in my type of vibe. Um, I do like him a lot. Uh, he's just just cool British guy, just this cool, like, 50s, 60s bartender, just that vibe, the whole cartoony, older vibe, which I really like, I really screw with, uh, like, I like Frank Sinatra, and stuff like that, so that kind of, like, reminds me of, like, those types of vibes, so I, I like him, he's cool, uh, and then the 12-foot ghost, uh, I, what's going on, my computer, okay, Oh, 12 foot ghost. I'm gonna put an A. Uh, he's not the best, but I do like the ghost a lot. The lighting effect on it is incredible. It's insane. I've seen it in person. Dear God, it looks amazing. Um, I love the look of it. It looks awesome. It's massive. So, she's definitely an A tier. All right, personally, I think that's it. I think I solidified my statements. I like them all. They're really, really great. Um, if you guys have different opinions, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would love to know your favorites and your least favorites this year. And please let me know. I would love to talk back to you guys. Just have a little chat in the comments. Um, if you have not already, please go check out my Instagram, Leone Productions 1031 That's where I post all of my art and all of my stuff like that. Um, if you have not also, go check out the Buster Brandy Show, which is on YouTube. I'm doing a new Halloween episode this year based on Five Nights at Freddy's. So if you like Five Nights at Freddy's, or if you like the old 1930s silent film slapstick comedy type vibe, go check out that channel because I'm pretty sure you'll like it. And um, also, please, if you did like this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for future notifications on future videos. This is Leone Productions, signing out. Stay spooky, everybody.